You know, it's not the biggest space ever. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally going to give you guys an updated bedroom pet room tour. It's a bedroom, but it's also a pet room. <laughs> yeah, so we added some new shelving to the bedroom plus, you know, some new lighting and stuff like that. And I thought it'd be fun to just give you guys like a little tour, a little overview of everybody who's in the bedroom and we can check on them and all of that. I do have more animals than what is shown in the bedroom, obviously. <laughs> Both the corn snakes are out here. My Brachypilma erratum is out here. All my jumping spiders are out here here, my snapping turtle, all my velvet spiders, stuff like that. So you're not going to see them. They are all out here. I have a lot, but the bulk of it is in the bedroom. That's where all of my tarantulas reside and numerous other snakes and frogs and stuff like that. So we are going to finally just like go in there and you can see how I have it all set up and how I keep it and stuff like that. So if you also are working with a small space or a small bedroom and that's where you have to keep your animals, maybe you'll get a little bit of inspiration. But anyway, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. But first I'm actually going to wait for it to get dark because the bulk of my animals are actually nocturnal and they're going to be more active at night. Okay, so this is the entrance to the bedroom and as you can see, I finally have some lights going on in here, which is really nice. So this is just kind of like an overview of the room. But I have like, you know, a bunch of animals over here. This is mostly like reptiles, but of course I have a ton of spiders now that I kind of moved over here to space them out. We have Daisy, my ball python over here. And of course we have Coco Puff on the bed. She just got groomed today, so she is extra fluffy. And then this is like the bulk of all of my tarantulas. And then just like regular bedroom stuff, I guess. And I have Zelda right here, but obviously she just molted. I've posted a lot about it on Instagram and I'll have a whole video about that. There she is. She's been stretching out a lot. So yeah, she's probably going to be ready to eat soon. And that's when I'm going to make the video updating about her and talking about the molt. I actually got a really cool time lapse of her molting and possibly had an allergic reaction to her irritating hairs, which we'll talk about that in the video as well. So yeah, I have Salem and Elvira up here. This one's Elvira, this one's Salem. And and my L. striatopes just molted also. I really like these tarantula cribs because I can fit so many of them so nicely. Like it's a lot of tarantulas, but it doesn't look messy, at least to me. But yeah, just quickly looking at everybody, you can see that they're coming out. Cerecopilma species boquette. My T. apophysis also just molted. And then I just have some gramostolas over here. My Iheringi, Grossa, Acteon, and also a Bihamori. And then of course I have even more juveniles over here. He says my Mofonopelma. And here's Peaches, my Brachypelma homori. I still have the mature male to little cuddle vegans as well as my two females. I haven't bred them yet. Been a little nervous about it, not gonna lie. And check out my Pima Chala. She actually just molted as well. Can't really get a great view. Oh, she doesn't like the light. <laughs> Here's my OBT that you guys almost never see, but don't worry, I also almost never see her either. Cerecopelma species Santa Catalina, she hides a lot. Down here on the bottom, I have my Hensi and both my female a Calcodes. Hi, Tut. It's almost his bedtime. He just ate like a lot. Oh. <laughs> Here's my extremely old hairless hamster. You guys, she's almost two years old. I mean, for two years old, she's doing like really well. So, but yeah, since she's awake, I just wanted to show you guys because I feel like you guys never really get to see her since she's nocturnal. Now that I'm holding her though, that means we cannot like touch any of the snakes or they're gonna try to eat me. But she's still doing really well, as you can see. She's just a little old lady. All right, we're gonna put her back because she's gotta get her fitness on. She's running on the wheel. And now she has to clean herself because I touched her. <laughs> we'll do some food. Okay, so this is actually the shelf that I just added. I can't believe we literally had all of these animals without the shelf. Like it was so crowded and now it just, it's still a little crowded 
but it's much better. So yeah, up there I'm keeping the scorpions. I have my tarantula cribs 360 enclosures right up here. And then this is just kind of where I put most of my slings. You can see my new 360 enclosures look pretty awesome. They're doing great. See my scorpion right there. <laughs> here are my eCampus Stratus slings. I have other various slings all the way back there that I've been raising for a while. And then right over here, and right here is my Avicularia Avicularia and my Avicularia Purpua, who just molted. And then right here, we just have Willow. As you can see, she just shed and pooped for us. Very nice, thank you. She looks really pretty. She is just a regular rosy boa. I actually recently got her this like really cool house. And I don't know, I think it looks nice. Hiding all the way in the back. Hopefully you can see that butt. That is Trippy Toad. And he's been hiding back there a lot lately. Normally he sits in his water dish. I'm the bottom part I have one of my best friends ever this is Rango and he was my first ever exotic pet my first ever reptile and as you can see he's doing really well he just woke up it's a good boy I don't know if you guys can hear him squeak but he does squeak <laughs> And then his neighbor over here. Hi, friend. This is Hypnotoad, and he is my father's toad. I caught him a couple years ago, and yeah, as you can see, he's doing really good. He actually woke up from hibernation not too long ago, so he's just been busy eating a bunch of crickets and stuff. But as you can see, he's like super tame. Like, he really doesn't mind being held or anything at all. All right, and this is shelf two. You can uh, see that bright red tomato frog right there sitting in her water dish. And I just noticed that that Beetlejuice is right here poking her little head out. But yeah, I actually upgraded Beetlejuice into this Exoterra and I upgraded Java, my other rosy boa, into the same enclosure. I think that these work out really well. I'm really happy with them. I won't pick up Java because she bites me every time. But Beetlejuice never bites. She's really good. And then Willow over here, she also never bites me. But anyway, <laughs> right here we actually have Mimikyu, but I actually like never really see her she doesn't come out she eats but yeah we never really see her unfortunately and then of course right here we have Evie my eCampus Stratus female the one with the messed up legs she's been doing good she's been out actually a lot she dug a burrow back there she hasn't eaten for me yet but I just need to try feeding her I guess again soon but yeah Evie's doing really well so I'm hoping that she molts soon and it goes well. And then we just have more tarantulas, lots of tarantulas. <laughs> my grandma stole a Porteris up there, one of my curly hairs, my Smithy, and of course Pikachu. My grandma stole a Polka Peas and her boyfriend who she broke the foot. And just a little update between the two of these guys. I have tried pairing them a couple times, but they've done nothing. So that's why I haven't done like an update video or anything. But yeah, that is that whole shelf. And so that leaves us with just one friend. And this is Daisy, our ball python. Look at her coloration. She is just so pretty. But yeah, she is in a 40 gallon. So she takes up this whole area of the dresser. Looks like she smeared something there. So yeah, she does that. She's actually like pretty active for a ball python. So I don't think I could ever go any smaller than a 40. I think we could actually go larger than this because my ball python must be broken. She doesn't just like stay in here. Like she actually comes out and is active. I could have had this turned on the whole time. Blathers. He's scared of insects. <laughs> yeah, just various cute things. I like cute things. So I like cute things, Coco. But yeah, I think that's it. Like that's pretty much everything. Just like a quick overview. You know, it's not the biggest space ever, but I think everybody's pretty comfortable in here. I really like the setup. It might be a little overwhelming to some, but I just feel like it's a pretty good setup. I'm happy with it. And I really like the new shelf. It gave me all this room up here for Squishmallows. So I had more room for Squishmallows because it got a little full over here. So yeah, that is the updated like pet room, bedroom tour. This is my happy place, I guess. I like spending time in here. So yeah, it's just, it's a nice cozy little, a little space. So like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably way too much. It's at You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.